These guys are going to be dropping into the map right now. They just got loaded in. We got a beautiful view. Abandon all hope when you land at Booty Clapital. That is right. But we're going to jump right on board with round one winner. That's going to be Freak. He's going to be dropping in with that PLO. I love red, white, and black, man. Red, white, you and black, anything is red, just... Red, white, and black. I Green love it. rules, okay? Well, let's do it. Can Freak pull off the back-to-back -back wins that we don't want to happen? Can Stona get better positioning and hit his shots? Will Low Bob Shooter be a low uh, high ball shooter? We are about to find out. I'm, I'm not sure, but I am bad, LOL. <laughs> Crushes out. Booty Clapital, nobody else lands with them, so he's just good enough to win it right off the bat. Hey, there we go. And Freak gonna pick up that Imperial Shoddy, which I love so, so much. You know what it is? It's the red. It's the red on it. That's what you love. No. No, it's not. Hop on board <laughs> with Reptar. He's trying to get a little bit of loot. No backpack yet. He's gonna have to leave a few items behind there. C9 Haze. Again, he's starting in warehouses. This is where we saw him start last round. I believe he went up against yeah. C9 Haze early last round. Was too, it C9? He? Uh, he might have. He might have a couple shots coming in here. Rucka versus Hoax. Rucka in the lead. Has Hoax down below 50%. Looking to get the push on him. Oh. Looks with a shotgun. Can't hit it, though. Hoax over the top. Going to catch him right in the face. Rucka going to go down now. Turning his attention back towards September 20th. Not out of dodge yet. He might have another fight on his hands, but we're going to move over back to Reptar, and it looks like he's in that battle. Never mind. We're going to go right back to <laughs> September 20th. Two warehouse fights. Both of these guys kind of squaring off. They're trying to find that oh, fight. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, Jiko going to get it. He's on Bay. Did he have Bay in front of his name last time? I don't think he did. Did he? He did. I love, sure him, he did. <laughs> I love him. You love him. I love him. How can you not love Bay? They're before anything. I mean, you Bay is Bay. To. I already said that. Well, race car will go down as well, and now Reptar Pushing into Hayes. This aggressive play did Ooh. not pan out too, too well for him, but... The he... jumpers are just nasty. He's just sick with it. Hoax going to go ahead and drop back down, back off that fight September 20th, punishing him with a few bullets. Now his Swag Turtle will be here with LaBerga. Going to get on top of that tent, put a few shots in, but only hits the ATV and LaBerga... Is he going for angle or just getting out of town? It looks like out of town. He will take one shot, but he had that heel roll. He's trying he to get cracked. an early rotation, it looks like, towards the zone, which means that we haven't seen it yet, but I'm guessing the zone is not next to them at all if he's moving that early. That or it's right on top of them, and he's trying to get center zone very early. Gas is going to release, though, in just 10 more seconds, and we're going to see that first rotation start occurring from these guys. Ida already on his ATV, and he's rotating. So he's this is really boy. that moment where things kind of slow down for a second. First gas rotation. Everybody just wants to make it to that next circle, and that's always those moments where I see things slow down, except for in the late game. In the late game, circles oh. cause chaos. Early game, it tends to cause everybody to slow down just a bit. Is that Nico just kind of stalking him? Does he know he's there? Potentially. I mean, he has the option to pick up an ATV here, but that will give away his position. He didn't even have a backpack. The uh, I don't know if he knew he was there or not. 2D grinder going to get taken down by Reptar. Reptar with his second Elam of the match. It He's doing... He may not have seen the other player. He's basically doing what every BR player does, and that is that they don't reset the reticle to center screen. They look down because you're right, used to looting. Right. The early game gets you into a really, really bad habit. It's why people that move from game to game to game that are really, really good, guys that come from stuff like Counter-Strike and everything, have great reticle placement, yep. and it's one of the areas that very few BR players do well. I actually 100% agree with you on that. The pre-aiming is something that you can definitely tell separates a good player from a mediocre player. Even within the pro the pro level, right? When we're talking about a pro player, the difference between a, I don't want to tear them out, but a bottom tiered pro right. versus a top tier level pro. Can we get a list of those like pros that. from you? Uh, no, you cannot. <laughs> you will not get me to tear them off. Not right now. Uh, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, but there, there's a difference. It, and those little things end up being, they add up. And, and well, they're what makes the difference. The little, you're right. The little things are exactly what makes the difference. Things like that, um, the movement, the ability to control your character, vehicle movement, being able to get in and out of your vehicle and keep it in cover and not send it launching into your opponent. Those little things add up to a great player. Swag Turtle in a battle here against La Berga. 
currently winning Ouch. the fight. Going to ding him again. Takes that helmet off. A little bit of dink. Looking for the squish. Doesn't find that second shot. And he's going to start punishing that ATV. We just talked about it. You just mentioned keeping your car in good positioning. Not going to have it in a great position. 5K West, USA going to get taken out. Hondo going to find an Elim onto its TW. We're down to 70. Another fight here. That is going to be Jaystra, who we saw get a lot of shotgun Elims inside. We haven't seen a whole ton of him outside of cover. He, he's doing well in closed spaces. Can he win battles in the open? The moment it doesn't look like he wants to take it. I want to know what those tents are made of. I mean, they're clearly a bulletproof, you know, weave material. Why don't they make airplanes out of that fabric? I'm I'm not sure. They'd be a lot lighter. If you right? could just go to, like, a bulletproof cloth instead of having to use metals, I don't. Elon, get on it. Yeah, there we go. Get He'll figure it out. I'm still down for teleportation. If I don't have to fly, that would yeah, be great. Yeah, that would be good. I don't care if my matter gets spread across the universe. And I don't even fall. care if I show up on the other side naked. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, I don't care either. You have to deal with it. No, whoever is on the other side, when I get there, is going <laughs> to yeah, have to deal with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what but, I'm saying. But, you know, I'm okay with it. Just show up. Hey, this is me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'll uh, get my suitcase now. Well, love Yeah, where's guy. baggage clean for teleportation? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a separate teleporter? <laughs> That's a good point. Can you teleport with your baggage? Can you just carry it? I'm not Does sure. your baggage I don't know. come out naked? Do you even need to? At the point you have teleportation, you just teleport back home, pick up your clothes when That's you a good point. teleport That's a good back. Point. I don't I don't know, man. This is this is getting really these deep. Are all, these are all things that matter, and <laughs> I would love to know the answers to. And I hope that someday, while I'm still here on planet Earth, that somebody can uh, you know, enlighten me. I like it. I really like it. Well, positive Patty has Sky Crow right in front of him. Is that, yeah, it is Crow. I thought it was Crow for a second. Maybe he grows crows. Quite possibly in the sky. In the sky, yeah. Is that Why like not? a like a like a spider plant? I was just thinking like an actual crow, but I mean maybe maybe it's a plant. So you, all right. Well, Raid goes on Reptar going Ooh. down in 69th. That's, uh, that's Reptar, consistency. Reptar seems like he's just looking for fights. I don't know that he's really trying to play. It doesn't the feel game. like he's trying to play the this whole game. It looks like he's just trying to have, let's see if I can slay out in here, which you can probably get some elims. He's gotten a couple win, mm -hmm. wins and some fights at the start of these matches, but you're not going to be able to carry that all the way through. Reptar, you're great. I don't think you're just going to crush through a match, though, like that. If you're looking to take home a gold AR, Play for the win, round number three. You're going to need it if you want to get all the way up into that top ten positioning. The question is, are we going to see him go for the hot drop next time? Well, it's uh, sometimes that's dependent upon where you start. But he won his battles on that, is that true. hot he drop. He won the hot so drop. So he had, he had the spot. He won the two fights that were there. But he got into another one. So I'm not sure what the rotation looked like. The safe zone is going to go to the southwest corner, starting to cut off the bottom part of Pleasant Valley, and all these guys are going to be down there in the Runamuck River area. There's Bumjik Farms, a couple different areas. See where this goes. About to announce this next circle, and it's going to continue to move towards that western side. Going to pull a little north on this circle, though, so I like it, it might end up centering back up onto, uh, onto the motel there. We actually saw this is where Huskers last week. The zone ended for the Huskers win. It pulled. It was right a little, on the it was a little farther yeah. north. The first zone. I don't know that it can shift that hard, that direction. I it's don't know close. if we'll get it. It's close, but, but I don't it's think the same, it's quite there. Realistically, it's the same kind of terrain. We're gonna have a road. We may have some ob uh, obstacles in the middle of the road. A couple hills, some trees. So it's the same general safe zone. Yeah, it's not not super super flat. If it does pull over to that area, there are hills on both sides of the trees. Ooh. There's a lot of elevation changes. Are you going to push? No, he's not going to push. Interesting choice. Maybe just changing his angle onto Swag Turtle, giving him if, the opportunity to heal up. If you can get in close enough, really he's still too far out. If he could get up close enough to where he could just keep Swag Turtle having to move, if he would have put just pressure with the car to where he couldn't stop to roll the heel, right. he would have been better off. I think that he had enough hits. He absolutely did. He had him down had to one shot. Yeah, he could have played a really heavy pressure there, and you just want to put the right side of your car on the tree, though, so that if you want to jump out, you end up with hard cover. Immediately, yep. And he could have just sat there and rotated clockwise around the tree and got him to either bleed out or get into a close range situation. Huh. Emo, Q, Q in the quick. That was interesting. That, that's they a weird were, stare kinda, down. Yeah. Emo 
You got bodied out. Who's going to fire first? Welcome to NA. That's what we do. We used to take Emo out before. Whoever's playing Emo now, you still don't have it. Taking them out left and right. NA. NA forever. NA forever. Are you trying to do that? No. No? No. I'm just trying to do that. Okay. No, that's a... That, that's, nope. an, that's just a no. That's not it, Chief. No. Oh. All right. Pogues. Looked like he's been tagged once in the armor. Caught the edge of a shotgun. He has a one shot left in his one shot. He's been tagged up a bit. Blunt also has a two hit, so he's actually looted up one of the airdrops. Yep. No hunting rifle on his back. It's still got a shot left in it. He's been in a little bit of a scuffle here. A scuffle? A scuffle. He's uh, scuffled a with of, a shotgun. A little bit of bullet fisticuffs. Tankska gonna get taken out by Clearoflage. Gonna go down in 63rd. Clearoflage, huh? His actual full name, I believe, is Clearoflage oh. on uh, on his Twitter handle. So, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. See, I didn't. I know believe him that's well Clearo. Enough. If Clearoflage on Twitter, if that's not you, I'm sorry, but I think I'm pretty sure that's you. Well, Hoax is here, and he is trying to stay safe. Looks like he'll make his way inside, trying to hide out from Blunt, leaving his vehicle out in the open like that. Poor choice, in my opinion. Blunt would have zero problem taking a shot at this if he was maybe playing a little less afraid. I feel like Blunt is giving a little too much respect right now. Uh, I think it's I don't think it's necessarily respect to him. I think it's respect to the fact that anybody could rotate up behind him. I don't really mind the play. He, he's in a safe spot right now. He's got his safe space. He's got his blankie with him. He feels okay. He's nice, warm, and it. snuggled up in there. Um, and he's doing all right. And this circle is going to go ahead and start pulling a little bit further west. And basically stay centered, though, on that vertical. Ooh, shotgun battle going to come out to IQ. Going to get taken down by September 20th on that shotgun battle inside. Rough almost, one. Almost gets him. Yeah. Almost gets him. It was close. Oh, Ooh. loses his vehicle, loses just a little bit of life. But it looks like that was actually a prior helmet hit, perhaps. Yep. That took that off. That was not from the vehicle. He's able to get out. But now he is behind a row of homes that are all very much occupied. Occupado. Do not enter. I made that joke yesterday. Yeah. Tell me not. So it's, it's, so yeah. it's funny for you, it's, not it's, for me. It's funny for me, yeah. That is that's so not doing fair. This. That's, and you know what the real funny part is? What? Is the fact that I just did that to you. Yeah, I know. I know. That's real funny. I, How many times can you make me walk out? I, I, it depends what point you don't walk back in. Right? I guess that would be when it ends. Yeah. Into the top 60 here. <laughs> gonna hop on board with Venoms for a moment. He's uh. hanging out inside this camper looking for the battle against Black Wave. Not really presenting an opportunity for him to take some shots, but he's just going to stare him down. Ooh, Ooh Molotov out. maybe trying to open up an opportunity or create one for himself. It's going to be a little short. Black Wave still just hanging out. Shots possibly coming in from behind, or not possibly. They are coming in from behind, and he has found a safe spot for the moment, and he's just going to go ahead and lay down. Not really a whole lot he can do. He's going to have to isolate one of those fights at some point. Sky Grow is going to get taken out by the gas. Arrow versus TT there. We saw some shotgun shells coming out, but we're going to move over to this fight. Foxy GG in pursuit of Rain and Shine. Out of the vehicle, starts throwing some bullets. Not going to catch anything there. This Arrow already has already prepped a uh, a makeshift on the ground there too. Doesn't need it though. Decides he's gonna get out of there. May not have the room in his backpack. May have just like made it, thrown it on the ground there for an opportunity. But he will begin his rotation. Diet gonna get taken out by Tox down to 58. And we have broken into that point where we should see a pop in the kill feed as it starts as Ascari goes down and so does Pie Man. And now we're looking at Black Wave's angle of this Venom's fight. Joey Blackout gets picked up by Jess 3 with a Magnum. Those things are absolute laser beams right now. They have been so powerful, and that hurts as Dumb Step yeah, gets bullets, the angle. Bullets to the brain don't feel good. No, no. Ida going to get taken down September 20th. Going to get taken down. My line, SDWA, also going to get eliminated. That's going to be at the hands of Freak, our round one winner. Looking to see how he performs here in match number two. Well, I mean, so far, so good from Freak as LaBerga picked up by Nico. And again, this area is packed. There are players everywhere, and none of them really need to move, I do not believe. Although they're just outside of safe. They've got to go. 
TT has the right idea. Move but your feet, move your feet. Clara's gonna have Ooh. Hoax behind him, and Hoax is gonna find the headshot with the shotgun. Man, for a second there, Clear had hit those shots. I'm pretty sure he was on the vertical. He was right on the helmet, but he was just a little wide of it. That would have been a nasty turn. Blue Wave gonna get eliminated there. Hondo gonna go down. Down to 47, a lot of players left alive for how open of, this, of a zone this is gonna be. Stona stalking one man genocide as Nico gets found by Style. Nico just got a kill as well, so unfortunate there as Rain and Shine will go down as well. A little help from Foxy, we saw that battle start, but it ends with Jaystra. Lord once again here with Genocide, starting to rotate out of there, Stona behind him. TT coming up onto Stona though. Could see this battle. It's gotta happen. It's gonna have to happen. Woodsy, Hoax, Spirits, uh, Bysky, and Quentin all gonna get eliminated. I mean, that was a marked improvement for Spirits. He went out in 44th this time instead of 65th. Not high enough though. Not at all. Is Monge de Crab, I like that, goes out and then we actually see Blund die to the gas. Zone gonna get taken down by a shotgun. Stona gonna get left behind as TT rotates into the zone. Super taco truck gonna get taken out by Low Bob Shooter. One of the players that we were looking to see a little bit out of this round. Haza gonna get taken down as well. Zubaby trying to play that survivalist game, doing quite well as now Arrow's gonna pick up Venoms. This is kind of what we saw in EU mainly. It was a lot of camping, a lot of hidden play. And he's playing this one pretty good so far. And there's a lot of players on the outskirts of the gas who have a lot of room right now. Yeah, they got quite a bit of room to work with. Zao Baby going to hit a couple shots there. That's going to be on the pulse. Going to take an armor and a body shot to him. KLM going to get eliminated by Degenerate. Spray shots coming out from Zao Baby. Looking for shots on Breeze. Not able to connect anything other than the vehicle. Can Can going to get eliminated in 34. Zao going to hit another shot onto somebody. Just throwing shots out left and right. Getting little hits oh. in here and there. Hits again. Finding Pulse. Down to one shot is Pulse. Zao looking for that final shot. Not able to find it. Look and looking just cannot hit it. ATV gonna be uh, giving Pulse a little bit of cover there. He's starting to get those heels rolling. Shots coming in from the other side now. That's gonna be Jesse giving oh, Pulse freak. a little bit longer lifespan. Freak with the throw in round two because he's looking to win round number three. Goes down at 31st. <laughs> he heard it, he knows what's going on. It's, a, it's all part of the master plan. Foxy GG gonna get taken out by Jaystra and then Jaystra is immediate, immediately gonna go down. Eric, Snotty, they're both gonna get they eliminated trade. as well. Oh, they do, they actually trade on each other. So those two gonna go down in 27th and 28th. Unfortunate, but now we do see Stona number two from last game looking to go for that number Ooh. one as Arrow will catch Dish's grenade. He will go out so that- Chewbacca then catches a nade also. What is going on? Kobe's left and right. And now all these big names that we were paying attention to are going down. And this is gonna be a potential of a whole different top 10. This top 10 is gonna get shooken up quite a bit. I expect, you know, roughly five of them to probably be the same, but I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of guys that shift their way up into that top 10. Folds is moving across. Stone is here as well. Stone has style right in front of him. Style, well, Ooh. will go down as Stone has the laser gun out fires many shots. That was our second overall from match number one. He's still in it. Freak is down. This is his opportunity to close that gap. We'll see if Stona can pull off a repeat performance here in game number two. Dumb step. He's going to get eliminated by a headshot, and we are into the top 20. Dish, winner from last week. He's made it this far into round number two. See what he's able to pull off as he is trying to find a safe spot to set up for this next circle. Down to 19, and we are on board once again with Stona. Well, Dish is moving around on the side. Seat swaps to get a better angle and see what's behind him. Milk Gang looting up as Jazz 3 will get picked up by Stona. Uh, maybe. Maybe he wanted to be able to shoot when he turned around. Oh, maybe I'm not that. sure. I'm not maybe sure. Maybe somebody's behind me. I want to shoot him if they are there. Oh. Ooh, Hello, gonna hop, Foles. looking for the fight. Dish trying to oh, hit Folds, and he is gonna start eating shots. Lobop shooter gonna punish him for that aggressive play. Stona gets eliminated as well. So two players that have played very well last week. One sitting in second currently. He's gonna go down, down to 15 as River gets eliminated by a shotgun by Gizboy. It's quite a long range shot too. So Gizboy had the angle on that one. There was nothing he could do there. Milk Gang in the river, Ooh. and while that hurts, as Robbie goes down, so will Milk Gang. 
Low now, Bob Shooter actually showing up big here yeah, in game number two. third he's, in our last game. He was third, and he's looking to take over that number one spot. He most likely has at this point with the score that he's going to get over Stona and Freak. So they'll be looking to take him out in game number three. Zube be pushing over towards Folds from behind those trees. Ooh. That name goes right over the top of Low Bob. Low Bob a cool had angle. to strip. He has nothing left, just a pig helmet on his head as Folds will pick up Zubaby and Lobob will get the kill onto Avix, so we're almost at that top 10. We are just outside and just kidding, we are right there. Showdown loser, gonna lose that top 10 situation as he goes down in 11th on the bubble into this top 10. We can kind of see the spread here. We got that nice eagle's eye view over the zone. Nice giant ridge cutting right down the middle. Going to give some cover for those guys coming over the side. They are going to have to battle for it as there's two of them over there. I am bad, LOL. Now just getting tagged up left and right by Tox. In comes a throwable. He's a little far for that one. Really, your throw's about 55, 60 meters at tops. Unless you're throwing downhill, I am bad was a full 87 out. He was one and a half times that throw distance. Well, he's not outside that throw distance now, but he misses that one on the hill. Doesn't have his gun out as I am bad peaks. Tox will take it down very low, and it's only one pump that's needed. Tox will go down in eighth place as Folds will take the seventh place position behind him. Lobob Shooter staying in this one. He's currently in sixth place, setting up to take over that number one spot. Probably has it already, as we said before. Sick is in a fight with 100, trying to rotate out. Going to put those smoke nades down, get a new makeshift on. He's been tagged a couple times. Pulse. Also in this one as well, another player that we talked about and highlighted a bit, guy that I loved watch play again in Sweden, uh, looking to see if he can maybe close this game out. Lobob has the whole gas to his mm. back, no one behind him. 100 will take the sixth place spot. Lobob has I am bad to his right, but that's about it. Now the gas has stopped. So they have a little bit of time to set up here. But realistically, Lobob might have a really good spot to take home a win. It's possible. I mean, a couple of these guys, have. when you get down to five, you've really kind of got, this isn't one of those zones that's going to have a crazy setup. For, uh, sick, going to get taken out by Gizboy. We're down to four. Pulse versus Gizboy now. Gizboy trying to back up, make a run for it. He has a little bit of cover there. Jumpers coming out of Pulse, trying to find it. When you're, when you're down to four and it's just an open field, there's not really a super stronger position than another one. My bad LOL actually has a decent spot for the moment as long as these guys keep fighting each other. He has to push up with the gas though, Ooh. whereas Gizboy will not. And that grenade. Just off of him, almost close enough. Yeah, just, just out of range. And there's just enough of a bend in this hill for Pulse not to be able to see him, but that grenade should be very close as Gizboy moves off to the left. Pulse needs to eliminate Gizboy. Gizboy is his problem at the moment. He needs to get him out of there. Gizboy gonna get a new helmet on. Start rotating on the ATV, almost down. Oh, he gets he the clean pain. pump. Ends up going down in third though as I am bad. LOL takes him oh. out. Low Bob Shooter gonna get eliminated also. I am bad LOL with the quick cleanup there at the end. I am bad. You're doing pretty good, man. You're yeah, doing you, all right here in game number two. You just got yourself a gold, AR. I don't think you're that bad. You're probably, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, 